how a successful entrepreneur differentiates himself from say the rest of the pack. So Everybody else. Yeah. What else, what else would you uh, say? So we did touch a little bit on time management and organization and, and that's part of it, but one of the uh, one of the key six ingredients also is effort. And a lot of people make the right decision to become an entrepreneur and to run their own business. And there is an argument that says perhaps that I think some people believe it's different than it's going to be. And as an entrepreneur, you have to have an expectation that your experience of navigating in the world of business all on your own at the very beginning is just like being in a very, very, very dark, <laughs> dark room <laughs> where there might be a glimmer of light somewhere at some times that may provide hope that there will be a solution and that you are dedicated to looking for it constantly. Mm -hmm. Because truly that's the way that as an entrepreneur, you, you spend all of your time problem solving. You spend all of your time getting more education, investing in more resources, innovating, trying out brand new things, learning how to be able to evolve your business. And when it comes to effort, there's five really different degrees of effort that I think that all of us can relate to. And the first one is poor effort. And we have to associate poor effort with pain and suffering. <laughs> we have to do that. Um, the second degree of effort is average effort. And average effort is enough to just get by. For most of us as well, that's the type of effort that we grew up knowing how to leverage. We could mostly all get by with average effort mm -hmm. in most subjects in school and in most other things that we were challenged by. It was average effort. We noticed when we had to put in extra 85%. Right? Yeah. We noticed when we had to work hard in order to accomplish that. And we in some way felt as though we should get bonus pay to a degree. Mm -hmm. So average effort is only the second level. The third level is good effort. A good effort is something that your coach says to you when he pats you on the back as you're leaving the field because your team lost. That's yeah. the third degree of effort. The, right. the fourth degree of effort is great effort. And in the dictionary, the dictionary defines great effort as uh, accomplishing adequate results. The fifth degree of effort is outstanding effort. Every single thing that you have, 100% of your energy is invested into the success or the solution for this business in its entirety. And only at outstanding effort is when we start to see results. Most of us, we do know how to put in 80%. Most, most people struggle and stumble because they put in 80%. And 80% is not enough to get you there. 80% mm -hmm. is enough to get you feeling owed. 80% is enough to get you a little bit upset. Um, but it's not enough to get you home. Okay, and so, so how do you get home? <laughs> determining that you're endeavoring to do something that you truly are motivated to do. You know, Wayne Gretzky talks about one of the biggest lessons that was a turning point in his career, and it's where he learned about what the definition of true commitment was. This is a, a phenomenal story that I love to tell at, uh, you know, seminars, etc. It's a 45-minute story when you get into it. <laughs> um, but th the bottom line is, is that when you, when you learn how to recruit 100% out of yourself, you now have the ability to start to make a huge difference in your business, in your results. And mm -hmm. so it's, uh, number one, about deciding that you're not going to perform at less than your best. Right. And to really see the, the specific samples of, of how to improve your game, take, think for a minute about an athlete and then a high-performance athlete. And all of us did track and field when we were in school. We could all run, you know, the 100-meter <laughs> dash. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, some of us super fat. I had wildcat running shoes. They were pink. They made me faster. Uh, I had um, Adidas with the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, but th truly, the difference between Olympic world record holders and everybody else is a couple seconds. Yeah. And But the real difference is... Average athletes and high performance athletes, high performance athletes, they, 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 they weigh their food. They, they time at exactly what time they take a supplement. They understand and invest in the brain trust of everyone to learn how to allow this body to operate at maximum potential. They right. shave their legs for aerodynamic yes, ability. Yes. Right? That's commitment. Yeah. So when it comes to taking a look at 
how you want to see your business succeed and what degree of commitment do you play at being honest about perhaps it's in the 80 percent range mm -hmm. and that you can get to 100 percent by taking off some of those tasks that you get de-energized by right the things that drain your energy so that you don't have the ability to necessarily invest 100% brain power into some of these solutions. So being smart about where you apply your energy, but 100% is required. Mm -hmm. There is no less than that if you want to succeed in the game of being an entrepreneur.